Hello again, everybody. Uh, welcome back. We're going to try to make this our final episode three here at the Avon Town Hall Park. Uh, we came upon this. This is a little disc golf course, and I'm thinking now what they mean. And there's also a barn up here called Hillside Barn. It's got pictures of animals. I do not know if there's currently animals. I'm thinking disc golf now means like a disc, like a frisbee or something. And it's got like, I see baskets. And I guess you're supposed to throw it in the basket. We're gonna find out and go do a little bit of a walk up here and look at the barn. And then we're gonna go try to find the large uh, lake, uh, the nine acre lake. And that would be the end of uh, at Avon Town Hall Park. So, if, if allowed to go there. Please come along with us. We'll start off by taking a look at this barn up here. It looks like it's, it looks like there's nothing in it. So it's in it. Uh, number the most amount of points I guess you would get would be for throwing it right in the middle. It's looking like like right on top. And then anywhere in this basket I guess would score points too. That's the way it looks like to me. Uh here let's take a little bit of that up over the bar. To me it doesn't look like anything in the hole. I think all of this up here, it looks like it's all part of this, this golf course. So what we'll do is at this point, we'll walk our back around this path and see if we come up with the other body of water that's uh, meant for fishing in this park. Hopefully we'll be able to find it. subscribers have played disc golf before anywhere please let us know exactly uh, I mean I know it can be looked up to but if you can give us a clear uh, understanding in layman's terms what it is and what the rules are 
It would be much appreciated, I'm sure, for us and for other viewers. I think it's only member of Gulf allow over there. No, it's part of the. It's definitely part of the parade. It's part of the public golf course. See, it's another one of those little baskets. I, I think, like I say, you basically take a frisbee type of disc. And if you get it in that fast, you can store a certain amount of points. I would have to say that up where that little, what would you call it, like this open air roof shelter is, that's probably where the large lake is. So we're going to go find that out. Now, if it's not, then we just got an extra They jumped in, and you see them jump in. <laughs> so you have some definitely turtles in here. And it's another potential opening for fishing. There's a few of them scattered, I suppose, though. I included them to this video.
run up the hill to that uh, picnic table over there. Here I go. Just continue, Han. Over there. Ready? Hold this. You want me to continue? Yeah, I'm gonna sit down. Okay. Give, give okay, folks, we want to make this the final episode three. Because it's hot and the home is getting a little bit tired of walking. So still searching for the other lake. There are some wooden steps up here. It says area off limits to all foot traffic. Not sure why, but reforestation of the forest floor recovery in process. And that was as of January 1st, 2021. So we won't go up there. So we'll continue on this paved path to see if it leads to the lake. And this would be the large one because there's also supposed to be a small pond adjacent to it. I'd like to also give a shout out to my good friend Tony Muhammad. Uh, subscriber to the channel also and co-worker and continuing on this looks just like a field up here I don't think there's a lake in here let's see nope just a field So I think there's more parking up here. So somewhere there must be some kind of motor vehicle pathway so you can drive up here. And this says Native Indiana Prairie Planting, spring of 2003. So someone has done some gardening or landscaping work of native Indiana plant species, I'm assuming. It's still no lake, but it looks like there's another playground coming up, or a couple of playgrounds coming up over here. Hey, this is pretty far back. Um, there's actually, there was a fork over here, so I'm not sure which way to go. Um, hopefully I'm not going just back, looping back around. It's not even to the lake. I think what I'll do, it looks a little bit more promising to take this fork off the paved pathway. This one is just a gravel walking trail. Let's see what's down here. They say there's some couple more playgrounds for the kids over there. And definitely a parking spot for more cars. Not sure where you drive though, how you get to it. So it's making me wonder if there's two entrances to the park.
actually, yep, this looks like it goes either right adjacent to or actually empties out into a neighborhood. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's a walkway and uh, yeah, so that's where the parking spots are. That's why the parking lot is over here. It uh, empties, this neighborhood empties out to this parking spot. Here's another map. So, still claiming there's some kind of pond. So if it's not there, I mean, it's not up here. I'm thinking it may be somewhere looping around this way. a pretty nice quiet neighborhood back here houses look pretty nice I know you guys can't really see it too well with all the trees but that's probably the way it's supposed to be nice brick houses a pretty good size So I'm thinking this pond must be somewhere off this path, extension of the pathway, because we're definitely on one of the perimeters of the park. through the woods over here. It was a private property back there. So yeah, it kind of loops back in away from the private property. So I'm thinking that pond would have to be, be somewhere in here. I used to be a lot better at map reading uh, than I am now, a little bit rusty. So we'll see what's back here. Another little bench in the shade. Very shady back here. A lot cooler for a day like today. I know this uh, footage is probably coming out kind of on the dark side. Yeah, it says all these uh, interior stuff. You're not even supposed to walk your dog in the actual, you know, woods. So the pond is back here in the woods. Guess we won't be seeing it. Well, I'm starting to think, folks, that uh, that was the large nine acre lake at the towards the front of the park. I'm not sure where the other ones are because we kind of looped our way right back around. So with that, I will say farewell for episode three, but come on out at here to uh, Avon Town Hall Park and explore for yourselves. Again, 
Thank you, everyone. Please look, give us a like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next episode of Peter's Parks and Beaches. We're going to, the plan is we're going to try to go to however you want to pronounce it, Versailles or Versailles State Park. It's the second largest state park in Indiana. So we'll see you there next episode. Check us out. Thanks. Stay safe, everybody. Bye-bye.